Close your eyes and watch your breath. When you breathe in, notice where you feel it. When you breathe out, notice where you feel it. If it feels comfortable, keep it up. If it doesn't, you can change. I'm trying to create a good space for the mind inside where it can settle down and be at home. So try to make this space comfortable. We need time to be by ourselves. This is one of the big problems in modern society. Everybody has a cell phone, everybody has this, that, and to keep them totally connected to everybody else all the time. It's like you're on a leash. Anybody can just pull on the leash at any time, and there you have to go. You don't have any real freedom. And you start defining your life in terms of what everybody else is talking about. So it's good to take some time and just stop and be by yourself for a bit and say, what's important to you? What's really important in your life? We're starting a new year. And usually in a new year everybody likes to talk about things that are auspicious, a happy new year and a good new year, and we want everybody to have a good new year. But part of it re lies in realizing, okay, you're not going to have that many more years. And you have to figure out what's really important in your life. Spend your time focused on that. You don't want to live a life that just frittered away with other activities and then suddenly realize that the things you really wanted to do in life didn't get done. Things that were really important didn't get accomplished. So it's good to take some time and ask yourself, what really is important to you? And start sorting things out. It says we're dealing with other people. Okay, you deal with in things that really are essential, but you don't get entangled in things that really are going to be a waste of your time. Time is precious. The years keep counting up. We get The numbers get higher and higher, but that, what that means is we've got fewer and fewer years left. So try to make the most of what you got and get in touch with what's inside. Okay, what really is true happiness doesn't lie in things outside. It lies in attitudes and qualities of the mind. That's what we develop as we meditate, a sense of inner wealth. This inner wealth is what really is your most important possession. And if you're going to be greedy about anything, be greedy about this. Try to develop as many good qualities as you can. Generosity, virtue, Concentration, wisdom, goodwill, equanimity, these are all good things that can see you through all kinds of difficulties. We live in a world where there's aging, illness, and death. These things can conquer aging, illness, and death in the, in the sense that they can prevent your mind from having to suffer from these things. So it's important that you develop these good qualities. They'll see you through. At the time spent developing these qualities is well spent. So some of, it, some of these qualities are developed in the ways you deal with other people, but a lot of them are also developed in the ways where you deal with yourself. This is what meditation is for, is to get you on a good footing with yourself. So you're on good terms with yourself, that you realize, oh, this is important and I'm dealing with things that are important. I'm not going to let my time get wasted by things that are going to be eventually a waste. So stick with the things that really are important in your life and get a good sense of what's important and what's not. So you don't get pulled around by those leashes that the rest of the world is trying to put on you. You have a clear sense of where you want to go. <laughs>